has to offer in terms of nightlife and visit as many bars as we can. Welcome to Nashville. Tonight is a special night out. It's the first night out we've had where we're not even in the same city as Hayes. Thanks, Mom and Dad. We're so excited to be spending the night at Holston House. It is right in the thick of the things here in Nashville. Steps from Broadway. We will show it to you later, but for now. To the bars. Chica sweet. How does it go? You got what I need. Sipping on the potion. Oh, I got a potion. This is my kind of <laughs> Keep it on repeat. Testing by the potion. Love it, it's the potion. You can't come to Nashville, not come to Broadway. If you're on Broadway, this is the best honky tonk. And this time, I was swayed with the recession special, which is a fried bologna sandwich piled high with chips and a PBR for six dollars. Six dollars! Is that a moon pie in Nashville? Why is it not a goo goo? Six bucks plus a beer. I mean, it feels good. Stop. That's one of the best bars in the world. I don't care that it's so touristy. That is one of the best bars in the world. It makes me really happy. The bologna is delicious. Onwards. Okay, we're in like the tourist epicenter of Nashville. I love it. We are gonna venture away from here. But we heard that on Thursday nights at Assembly Food Hall, which we've never been to, there's line dancing. Hi! Are you going to buy a glare party? No. no. Oh! Wait, hey, we're going to go to the Texas Chicken! You got canceled! Why? Stillness. Woo! Maybe the, maybe the other ones are like out partying. What? What? What's your name? We have YouTube. What? We're not famous. Hey y'all, so the chicks are here, formerly known as the Dixie Chicks. I think the renaming was good. I think it's also really funny to think about the time that they spoke, oh, the chicks. Due to illness, there was the sign. Anyway, I think it's really funny to think about that time they said like one negative thing about George Bush and everybody was like up in arms compared to the stuff everybody says, says about everybody these days. I've always loved the chicks. Anyway, we heard this line, Nancy. We're gonna go check it out. What'd you think, tucked in or untucked? Untucked. You look a little like a... Never lined in. I've only had one PBR, so it's probably not happening tonight, but it's beautiful. It's also Ed Sheeran as well, right? Hotel, heel, toe. Everybody remember that? Alright, so let's do that again. Five, six, seven, eight. Heel, heel, toe, toe, heel, toe, heel, toe. Alright, so from here, this is also a four-wall dance. We're going to be turning this way. Top. All right, let's do that from the beginning. Ready? Five, six, seven, eight. Heel, heel, toe, toe, heel, toe, heel, toe, heel, toe, heel, toe, heel, toe. Step, tap, cross, tap, right, left, right, together. But the first one, you're going to cross your right. So after your tap, you're going to go I, right, left, right, This stuff right, goes so up my head. something that we can normally do at Hayes, so this is a lot of fun. We should be wearing helmets, I must add that. If you're gonna do this, prepare, wear a helmet. Oh, 
I think that was the last scooter ride of the evening. My, my knuckles are like white. We should be wearing helmets. I don't know, it's like not easy. It's also not cost effective. That was like over 10 bucks per person. So we could easily share a lift for cheaper. But now we're at Bobby's Idle Hour, which we haven't been to in like six or seven years. Our friend Jack introduced us to this place. Uh, it's awesome. Let's go inside. <clears throat> It's the kind of place that you feel a little bit embarrassed talking about because it's very quiet and it's very serious. It's a bar on Music Row that we first went to in like, I don't know, 2015, 2016 with our friend Jack. And the thing about Music Row is it's all the music studios in Nashville. There's not a ton, of, there weren't a ton of bars. And when we were here, it was just like songwriters and I don't know, I can't explain it. It's so local and great. They've changed location since we've been here. We didn't realize until we walked in and we were like, this doesn't feel right. Um, still a music row, just on another street. And I don't know, totally recommend this if you're in Nashville for like a quintessential Nashville like songwriter, singer-songwriter experience. I kind of prefer this maze space. Do you? Uh, not sure. It's pretty great. Nashville's great. Nobody tells a better story than a Nashville songwriter. We say this every night out. There's always at least like one or two places where you can spend the night at. And that is one place that I could easily spend the night at. We did. This is our lighting situation. We did break our um, one drink rule and we had two. And we also have been keeping a secret from you. We started this evening out uh, with some wine because we actually went back to Google Cluster, which is America's first candy bar, and took a bonbon, like a chocolate and wine pairing class, which was great. But it means that we did start this evening at four o'clock with a wine tasting. Anyway, we've uh, now we've headed to East Nashville to Rosemary and Beauty Queen, which is a place several people recommended. We have never been. Let's go. Which one is it? This one? That this. looks like a house. This also looks like a house, but maybe a house that's a bar. Hi. This is cool. This is really cool. We're meeting our friend here. She says that she was willing to be to have a light feature, so we'll see what that means. I was like, I am happy to cheers a thing. <laughs> cheers! Cheers! cheers. <laughs> Next stop. The thing and the American Lipstick Lounge. Yeah. Very excited about this. It's a uh, karaoke bar. Lesbian karaoke bar, right? I can. All right, so checking in, we didn't talk as much at the last two stops. We were with our friend Lindsay. Uh, also one was karaoke, which I would have loved to have showed you, but copyright issues. Rosemary and Beauty Queen was great. Neighborhood place, like in a house. We had a crunch wrap, which is kind of like Taco Bell, crunch wrap supreme, delicious, great cocktails. And then now we're continuing our walk in East Nashville. We're headed to Dino's, which was recommended by several people, including the people at our Goo Goo class. Mm. And then I think that'll be our final East Nashville stop. Wait, there's gonna be more after that stop? 100%. It's only 11. Let's do it. It's a bit of a line, so I'm trying to figure out what's, what's the plan here. All right, we got the burger. So, this place I read is just like known for food. It's open till like 3 a.m. And I mean, that looks like a pretty decent burger. Let me see. It won't focus, it's 11.45. It's 45 but we're not done. This is just like a little pit stop. We're just refueling. Cheers. This is really good. We are at Santa's Pub, which we were introduced to years ago by our friend Jack, who lived around the corner from here. And we loved it. 
but more recently it has been doing the rounds because Ed Sheeran came here to celebrate record breaking audience numbers at Nissan Stadium like last week or something uh, like even my mother was like did you see Ed Sheeran in Nashville doing karaoke but here we are we're at Santos it's like 1am or something I don't know I'm so tired let me watch it I mean they're playing Mr. Brightside for you come on one Let's more go. drink how are they so bad at timing on this? <laughs> Just like half a second behind. How do you put up with this? What's the worst well. karaoke song that people perform? Oh, um, it's Sweet Caroline because the crowd interacts oh, yeah. so much. Yeah. And I feel like I'm at Fenway and I just want to What's the kill best myself. One? The best one is something I have never heard here before. Just anything that I don't have to hear every night. Oh, so just yeah. like if you can, if we can stump you. Not even stump me, just something that like I haven't already heard today. Uh, right, so like right. not what's man, your, I feel like a woman. Not um, Earl. Goodbye, Earl. Not like. I bet any Goodbye, of those Earl is popular tonight. Oh yeah. Yep. <laughs> Singing the words of this song, never heard it in my life. If you can paint me a Burger King, paint me a Burger King. I know, I know. I said, play a plan. Okay, so the, day, the chicks canceled their concert, and the guy outside was like, everybody singing goodbye, Earl. And he was like, what is goodbye, Earl? And I was like, I don't know, only every American girl's childhood. So I guess we're hearing it for the 18th time tonight in this club, but which is great because Pete's never heard it. Santa's. Uh, Santa's was good. Should I go to the soccer game too? All right. So this was our last stop of the evening. We will see you in the morning. It was a good final stop. Watching people sing karaoke is like. I didn't realize how much I enjoyed that. Wow. It was a, yeah, it was, it was chicks heavy. It was also like a heavy Alabama contingent in there, but it was great. We will see you in the morning. We're not done. We'll see you in the morning. Nobody even sang that. I know, but they should have done. It's the next morning. The night out was good, and so was our stay here at Holston House. This hotel is housed in what was once the James Robertson Hotel, one of the first hotels in Nashville, built in the 1920s. Better yet, recently they opened a rooftop bar, so we did, we came early yesterday just to make sure that we could enjoy the swimming pool. And now, what better way to nurse just a little bit of a hangover than with a Bloody Mary, biscuits, fried green tomatoes, French toast, Lots of delicious things at their in-house restaurant here called Ten. I haven't been to the South. You've never heard of a fried green tomato. You're missing out. That's what you need after a night out, right? I mean, I am gonna finish everything. Be beans on toast. <laughs> Before I met Steph, I never had fried green tomatoes before. Or pimento cheese, which I gotta be honest. I have had a hard time getting along with pimento cheese. It's good, I kinda get it. I kinda don't get it. Americans love it. I will continue to work on Pete with both pimento cheese and uh, bologna sandwiches. All right, it's been another fun trip to Nashville and a great test of our first time traveling without haze. Speaking of haze, if you wanna see another side of Nashville, that is how to enjoy it with a child, uh, you might like the video on the screen now. Otherwise, thank you for watching and see you in the next one, which is gonna be another night out with a really unique twist. Uh, we'll be in a very special location. If you have any guesses, leave them down below. We appreciate y'all. Thank you. Should go back and see haze. Let's do it.